Okay, so I'm gonna demonstrate this look today on my eyes. So I have a palette of mineral powders that we have already created. And first I'm gonna start with a fine powder brush and I'm gonna create the contour with an orange. Now, when I laid out some brown or shadow and I've already primed my eyes. So when you're using mineral powders, you wanna make sure that you prime your eyes or they're gonna get all over the place because you need something for the mineral powder to stick to. And you always wanna kinda of tap on your brush when you're before applying it. So I'm gonna put the orange just right in my contour of my eye using a windshield wiper motion. Okay, now I'm gonna do my next eye. Again, tap. I like putting a little bit of the brown shading shadow just to give me kind of like the idea of depth and applying more of a bright color because you don't want it to look too crazy clownish. Yes, we're kind of creating a fun look, but I also want to create depth and make my eyes look bigger and brighter. And so putting that brown shadow just lightly there before I started, then that gives me kind of like a landmark as I'm then dusting the bright orange color on to the area of the eye. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a yellow, a bright yellow on the lid. So we've done the contour. Now we're gonna do the bright yellow. So notice I'm just laying the color on the eyelid. And this is going to give the eye some pop. So bright colors right on the lid, I call that color washing. That's a great technique, even just for an everyday makeup look, like you could choose lilac and just do a wash of color on the eyelid. Now, if I get eyeshadow down here, don't worry because I can dust that off later with the setting powder as well. Okay, so now we're gonna put the yellow on the lid. Again, I'm tapping the yellow on because I want color saturation right on the eyelid. And I'm double applying it here. Now, I'm gonna blend later, but really the goal is just to get enough of the color on. Okay, now that I have the yellow on, I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm going to utilize the white. And the white is all about the highlight. So I'm first gonna apply the white to my inner corner of my eye and then also to the inner corner of the other eye, okay? Then I'm gonna put less white right on the brow bone, below the brow bone, kind of like right in that highlight origin of the eye. Okay, so now I have my application of color. So what I'm gonna do is blend. Now, you usually want like a blending brush and I'm gonna take the white over into the yellow and blend the white out. And then I'm gonna take the blending brush and also blend the line of the orange and the line of the orange on the other eye. So basically you're just trying to shade it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of rub this in. I'm gonna apply a little bit more concealer in a little bit. And then of course, put the setting powder on. But just for time's sake, I'm gonna then put the black liquid liner on. That's gonna give my lashes more depth. I just put a little bit of mascara on before the video started, just so that part was done. Typically, if I'm doing my makeup, I do the mascara at the end but as anybody knows, it's, it's hard to do it while people are watching and they're waiting, so. Okay, so the liquid liner is almost done. Okay, so the liquid liner is there, and then my last little touch for our candy corn eyelid is going to be a lower liner 
And this has like an orange tinge to it, which is really, really, really pretty. This orange tinge, and it gives, again, the eye a little depth. I can put some orange right on the corners to smudge the eye look out. Taking my little orange shadow brush. And voila, I have my candy corn eye look.